Hi y'all, this is Vicki Stegall and I am about to do a real quick watch me scrap for oscraps.com. Uh, this is the layout that I am going to be making and these are the items that I will be using to make it. This is Dare to Feel Alive Papers by Angie Young Designs. Uh, she is and really great at art journaling and mixed media type stuff and then I am going to be using uh, designed by Soko templates here these are actually Christmas templates but uh, obviously they can be used any time of year for any project this one here is the one I'm going to be using so let me go ahead and close that and you can see the rest of the Dare to Feel Alive kit by Angie Young. Um, so anyway, let's get started. First off, I'm going to open the template and pull it in to Photoshop. And my computer's going to be a little bit slow, it looks like. And I'm not going to use this title or the snowflakes for this. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete those and the drop shadow. And this word strip here I'm going to actually get rid of in just a minute. But now I'm going to bring it, go ahead and bring in my background paper that I want to use by Angie. Just drop that in place and send it all the way to the bottom by hitting Command, Shift, and the left bracket. That's going to be Control, Shift, and the left bracket for non-Mac users. And I'm going to bring in the photo that I want to use. I have already edited this photo a little bit by cropping it. Uh, so it's a little bit of a weird crop, but if you eventually go and read the journaling that I put on this, you'll understand why it's cropped the way it is and I'm going to put that over the photo layer. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, rid of what originally was a photo layer since my photo doesn't really fit that spot very well. But I'm going to go ahead and use her drop shadow. I'm just going to resize it. And since it is just a drop shadow that um, already has kind of blurred edges, I don't have to worry about resizing it with a uh, out distorting it because you know it's a drop shadow and it's barely there it's just so I don't have to create one later so let's see if I can get that to inch out just a little bit nope okay arrange it just a little and on my photo here I've got some background uh, where we're redoing our master bathroom and I don't necessarily want that in my final photo so I'm just gonna do a really quick treatment to that that is so quick and dirty that you're going to be completely surprised. So we're just going to take a soft brush here and my color oh my, can't quite reach my color palette with the size of my screen. I have to go out of range of camera. Sorry about that. Okay, and I want my brush to be a little bigger, so I am quite literally just going to brush over this with the wrong color. Let's get that right color in here. And then I'm going to clip this layer to my photo, and I'm going to blur it out just a little bit so that it covers all of the edges and makes it to where it just kind of softly diffuses that area behind me without being too extreme. And I want to have a little bit more contrast on my photo so I'm going to duplicate it choose overlay. That's just a tiny bit much so I'm going to lower the opacity of that level lower um, layer just a little bit. So I've got a little bit of a cold here so my voice is off just a little bit. And I think that these 
um, template layers that Soko has here actually work pretty perfectly with the background paper by Angie Young. So I'm just going to give them a little bit of paper, a little bit of uh, paper texture by pulling in one of Angie's uh, whiter papers. And I'm going to just clip it to those layers. And do multiply just to give a little texture. So I'm going to take this down to about 50% opacity. And, oops, I'm grabbing the wrong layer there. Move that just a little bit. And I'm going to just duplicate this layer by Command J, or I think it's Control J, on a non Mac and just clipping it to each layer of the template of the papers just so I have a little texture and I'm going to change this word strip. I'm just going to put a color overlay over it. And just going to grab one of the greens from the template just to hide the word word strip. And I'm going to put my date here instead. This photo was taken on August 1st, 2016. You can see <laughs> I have a few fonts installed here. And let's see, get it sized about right. Zoom in. And I think I think that size will work just fine. Now we're gonna work on the uh oh, it looks like I missed that one right there. So let's duplicate this paper layer and take it there, clip it, there we go. So now each of these has a little bit of texture, but y it looks like they are all, you can just see where they're all the same texture. So I'm just going to move these a little bit so that the texture changes so it doesn't look like it's all cut from the same piece. And I like how it has uh, gives a little bit more variation that way. All right, there we go. Now let's work on the title. Let's zoom out just a little bit. And my quote is, The wound is the place where the light enters you by Rumi. And um, that's sort of why I wanted this glowy effect on this photo um, with the overlay and the way the lighting is. Um, my journaling is all about uh, during my uh, double mastectomy from breast cancer and so um, if you want you can read that later in the gallery. But for now I'm just going to play with uh, creating this title here and you can kind of see a little bit how word art can be made. I'm just going to type it all in to begin with and then I will start editing it. Alright, now let's, we're going to use this really cool font, Amatic SC and I want this to fill up this space right here. So we'll get it generally the size we want and apply it. And then I'll go in and, and uh, kind of tweak it. So I actually want light to fill this whole space. So I'm going to make it much bigger 
and we can tweak it as we go. And then I need it to be closer to the other lines. Oh, and as you can see, I've grabbed the wrong item there, but we'll get, there we go, that's the right one. And I want these a little closer as well. Okay, now we're going to play with the spacing of these letters a little bit, and I actually want all of them spaced out. I thought I had already done this, but we're going to, there we go. Okay, I'm just resizing, and I don't mind if it gets a little stressed, stretched out. That's kind of look I'm going for. So I'm going to nudge it back into place over here, make it a little thinner so that it fits within this area. And then I am going to type up my journaling and resize for putting in the gallery. Uh, but basically, there's the layout. Quick and easy with the uh, templates made by Design by Soko and art journaling papers by Angie Young Designs. It just makes it for a really quick and easy but really vibrant and um, alive feeling layout. So anyway, thank you for joining me, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.